Well, there is nothing scammers are not going to do to separate you from your hard earned money. And that was certainly in play in Hendersonville, where scammers went that extra mile even with unusual demands, tricking a woman into giving up her credit cards to them. Andy Cordan had a chance to speak to that woman and has a warning for all of us tonight. Andy. That's right, Mark. I did speak to her. Now she's intelligent. She's also embarrassed because she fell for a crazy scam that looking back had many red flags and she agreed to talk to me today, but she is fearful of reprisal. So we've agreed to alter her voice from the very beginning. This banking fraud has ostensible legitimacy, starting with the first call, a spoofed phone number that appears to be from the fraud department of the woman's own bank claiming unauthorized use of her credit cards. So they had enough identifiable information on me to make me feel like that they really were legit. They were telling me all these charges were taking place and that they were stopping the process of stopping them. But the thing was they wouldn't let me off the phone. They kept me on the phone the whole time. So then he started telling me that my tip had been compromised. The case becomes even more unusual when the scammers insist on picking up the allegedly defective credit cards at her home mailbox. Well, I told him initially that I was not going to do that. Well, then he transferred me to his supervisor. She convinced me that that's what I needed to do because that was the only way they were going to stop it. They were following a police report. When the alleged courier arrives wearing a mask in an older model Prius with dark windows and black rims, the woman knows that something is seriously wrong. I don't know why I fell for it. In the next three hours, the woman's card will be used multiple times to the tune of $1,600. Why did you stay on the line with them all this time, even though you had some weird feelings? Because they kept telling me they were stopping all these things as I was talking to them and that I needed to stay on the line. I, I don't know. I don't know. On the surface, it sounds like, how could you fall for this? But once you tell your story, they're really, really good con artists. I mean, they're very, I mean, they were very smart. They knew exactly what they were doing. Uh, my advice would be go to the bank, call the 1-800 number on the back of your debit card, hang up on them, hang up on them. If you're still insecure about it, just hang up on whoever it is. And the woman tells me that her financial institution is working with her to cover that loss. Send it back to you, Mark. Well, hopefully they could help her out, Andy. Thank you. Hendersonville police say they're going to be using a number of different investigative tools to try and identify the people who came to that victim's home.